Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. I'm looking at the Atlantic Black Star, and I see this church sign declaring black folks need to stay out of white churches sparks outrage, but this pastor ain't apologizing. So apparently, a pastor named Pastor Michael Jordan is opposing, is opposed to a white mega church setting up shop in the inner cities. In other words, it most likely it's a mega church run by white people. And said uh, he 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 does not want it there. Um, and let's actually look at more to this article. A Birmingham a pastor unhappy with mega churches plan to build settlements up campus is high crime area of the city is firing back. Some locals feel this. Proclamation. New message goes a step too far, however. So basically, is against the church. And we all know about the history of the Christianity. Well, basically, I might not even need to say, uh, read this article, but. Oh, but I, I look, that's right here. Slave master church. Basically, this pastor even understands, though being a pastor in a Christian church, he understands about the slave master, slave mentality of some of the churches in this country and of Christianity, period. Christianity was used during slavery to docile the slaves to make it more acceptable to be slaves to the slave master and that they only would have like one be a preacher and only read certain sections of the Bible and I say certain sec sections because there was sections in the Bible that was again not only against slavery, but also wanted the slaves to fight back against the the slave masters. Quote unquote um, the birth of the nation movie that was directed and starred Nate Parker. Uh, for those of you who did not go to the movie because I was one of the few who did go to the movie and got the Blu-ray and digital copy. He was being, Nat Turner, before he led the rebellion against the slave masters, he was a pastor who was opposed to docile the slaves by reading scriptures saying that you should forgive the slave master even if he hurts you and stuff like that that was a way to control them but when he realized that that part of their sections that he was forbidden to read in the bible and that he when he finally was reading them he saw that 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 god does not want this evil act of slavery happening and wants you to fight back against it. That was when what they he was forbidden to read, but he read it anyway, and that's what led to him to uh, uh, lead a rebellion. And we saw what happened. So this pastor he knows that, and, not, and here's another thing: the pastor building mega churches and stuff like that this pastor knows that first of all when you're putting these mega churches in these black areas you're assuming that the black people will come and go to the churches because we're supposed to be this religious people and stuff 
and yeah, he see he understands that um that we cannot be messing with this uh white Christianity mentality and stuff. Let's not forget is that this was the same mentality that voted for Donald Trump. We know what that went. Now the part where about where they say that it's sparking outrage. Probably the people who are more outraged are the white racists, the racists, and probably some coons, some people, black people who are sellouts, who are against their own people. But the pastor here, he said that he is not apologizing because he he kind of knows what really is going on. Now, if you want to read this article or maybe do a video on read this article and do a video, maybe your your own video on the situation, uh, that's fine. I will. Uh, leave a link to the article and you can read it for yourselves and if you decide to do a video on it um, matter of fact I I think I put an email I emailed this article to several black youtubers so I was hoping that maybe they'll put their maybe do videos on the article and maybe they could probably put their say onto this and their opinion on this article, but yeah. And all right here, this is the sign that the pastor put. Uh, it's from this New Era Baptist Church. Now that this is the pastor who church, this is the Black Pastors Church, and he's warning uh, the people not to go this. Not to go to the white churches, not to go to the white church, and to avoid that slave mentality. Because tell you the truth, I don't go to church. I never really got interested in the Christianity, and with all learning, me learning about all the why, uh, all the bad things about the organized religion and stuff and some of the hypocrisies of it makes me avoid the church even more but that's my opinion and that's all I got to say on this video like I said I'll leave a link to this article it's from the Atlantic Black Star um leave a comment and see what you think about this video and about this article uh, like the video share this video share it with your friends and family share it with other you um, uh, social parts of social media um, I do videos on YouTube Black Junction and Black Spot TV. Also, I'll have a link on to the Black Junk Go Fund, two GoFundMe pages, one for Black Junction TV and one for Black Spot TV. They really need help um, supporting the platform. Those are black owned social media platforms that are trying to rise up one is trying to get live streaming and I kind of want to help out by spreading the word so I will also leave the links to the two GoFundMe pages I'm trying to help spread the word um, so that's all I gotta say um, yeah, uh, and one more thing, we really need to start being very careful about these churches, 
tell you the truth, I don't trust any church regardless of who runs it because these churches, they're about scamming people out of their money, using religion, and this is not a good thing for the black community. Uh, these organized religious, these mega churches, they are a problem. You also, and sometimes these mega churches, they actually support the wrong people, like Donald Trump or that 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 um, GOP candidate who turned out to be a pedophile. They're docile. They try to docile people instead of focusing on the real issues. Uh, they're biased, hypocritical. And so we got to be careful about these mega churches. We cannot be trusting our money on these mega churches when we can invest it on actually really helping the community uh, with more businesses, especially black owned businesses and other and education and stuff. Something that's really going to help the black community, not these mega churches that are about just taking your money, especially not these white mega churches. We definitely need to be careful because we do see black people following these white pastors and stuff. And if they're not careful, they're going to be victimized, docile, and everything will be stolen from from them. Uh, yeah, we and I actually agree with this pastor. We need to stay away from some of these churches, especially if they're not going to help our community, but rob our community. If they're going to rob our com community instead of helping our community, we need to stay away from these churches. We just need to stay away. But that's all I got to say. Uh, thank you for your time, and I hope I'll see you in this vi in the next video please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification so you know when I, when I have another video thanks hope to talk to y'all soon